Hi everyone, my name is Laura Battle and I'm the Campus Visit and Dual Enrollment Coordinator at Tusculum University. I wanted to pop on really quickly to talk about an an opportunity for juniors and seniors in high school. This opportunity is what we call Pioneer Academy. Pioneer Academy is our dual enrollment program here, um, and we are excited about the fall 2020 semester. There's a lot of changes that are happening with our dual enrollment program, so I just wanted to keep you all up to speed on these changes and the exciting things to come. So we have what's called degree in three. So degree in three is AP and dual enrollment credits equal a bachelor's degree in three years. So with this, basically depending on how many AP and dual enrollment credits that you have in high school, you can get your bachelor's degree out of the way in three years as opposed to the typical four years. This is an awesome opportunity for those students who are wanting to go ahead and dive into their career a little bit sooner. It's also an opportunity for those students who are wanting to save a little bit of money um, in their college experience. So these are the courses that we're offering for semester long in the fall. Basically with this, all of these courses are offered online. So you do not have to worry about an in-person class. These are all online courses. Um, and basically we would go into your classroom and give you an orientation on how to use our student portal as well as your student email and all of that so that you're up to speed on how Tusculum does their online courses and you're not going into it blind. But these are the most popular popular courses um, that you can take for the fall 2020 semester. World Religions, Public Speaking, as well as Comp 1 and Comp 2 are our most popular right now. With Public Speaking, you can go ahead and video yourself giving the speeches to your professor, and that will be how you get your grades. So you don't have to worry about a class setting in person with 20 plus people for this course. It would be you and your professor recording those speeches, um, and that way you can kind of knock it out on an online course setting. These courses are also offered in a seven-week session period. So if you wanted to, this is a little bit more of an accelerated approach, but you could do a fall early session and a fall late session and knock out two courses as opposed to one in that whole semester. So for example, if you wanted to take Comp 1, you could take Comp 1 in the fall early session and then take Comp 2 the fall late session and knock out both of those in one semester. This also goes well with the dual enrollment state grant money. You would be allowed to take advantage of that for this as well. And again, it's for a more accelerated program um, for a higher achieving student. So the requirements for dual enrollment. The requirements are a 2.75 GPA, and we will take the state GPA, and we will not take the weighted. Um, and then also our ACT is depending on what course you're taking. So we do not require an ACT if you're just taking one course a semester. However, that excludes math and English. With math and English courses, you will need to have an ACT no matter what, um, and it'll need to meet the requirements of that subject that we have for each um, course and that's different per course but for the ACT as long as you're just taking one course you do not have to have an ACT if you're taking two or more courses you will need to have that ACT and have a 21 or higher so for registration, registration is super simple. In five steps, you're done, um, and we would come into the school and go along with this process with you. Um, but step one is our Tusculum application. This application is free. There's no essay required, and you can find it on our website. Step two is the grant application. This is the state application that you have to fill out no matter where you are taking dual enrollment, and this is how you get dual enrollment grant money, the TAG grant, which is a unique grant for Tusculum specific students, as well as the HOPE scholarship. You'll need to have that grant application no matter where you 
whenever you take dual enrollment. Step three is promise to pay. Promise to pay is basically a statement explaining how you're going to pay for the dual enrollment courses. So if you're taking advantage of the grant money through the state, then you would fill that out on the promise to pay form and that's how we would know that you're taking advantage of that money. If you have ran out of that state grant money, um, we have what's called a tag grant um, and if you are interested in more information, you can contact me and I'll go over that with you. But basically, the state grant will cover two courses, um, no matter where you take dual enrollment, and then Tusculum will come alongside that if you take the first two with us, and we'll cover the second two. So you can get four courses for free as a dual enrollment student um, at Tusculum. And so that'll go over the promise to pay form as well. If you're wanting to pay out of pocket for these courses, it's $500 per course for the fall 2020 semester. Step four is course selection form. So the course selection form can be found on our dual enrollment website. Um, and basically with the course selection form, our advisor can look at that, make sure that you're in the correct courses and sign you up for the next semester. Step five is something really important for those students who are very serious about dual enrollment um, is checking your email. So if at the beginning of the program, whenever you're going through the registration process, emails from an advisor or myself will be going to your personal email that you provided for us in the application. But after that, once you become a registered student, emails are going to go to your Tusculum University student account. So it's very important that you check those, make sure that you're on top of your student portal, um, and that's how you'll get updates from your faculty and staff. These are the contacts for dual enrollment. Mine is on the top left. My name, again, is Laura Battle, and I'm the dual enrollment coordinator. If you have any questions at all, I've provided my cell phone as well as my email. Feel free to text or call me at any time, and I would love to chat with you about any questions about dual enrollment grant, TAG grant, what courses are offered. I would love to chat with you about that. Jill Oberfeidinger is the Director of Academic Advising, and her contact is there if you have questions about registering for those courses. Don Bridwell is my boss. Her title is Assistant Vice President of Admissions, um, and she would be able to answer any questions. If I can't have an answer, she would have that answer. And then Mike Verna is in charge of IT. So he would be able to help you all out with any IT concerns that you have, um, as well as if your email is not working or your student portal is not working, he's your go-to for that. But if you have any questions at all, please feel free to contact me. I would love to chat with you all about the opportunities that Tusculum has with Pioneer Academy, and we hope to see you in the fall.